So first things first, I just want to say after doing um, this last canvas, um, I feel like the most important thing to say right now is if whatever you're doing isn't working, change, change what you're doing. Don't just say because they are doing it this way, I must be doing something wrong. Um, they aren't where you are. They aren't using the same paints as you probably. They don't have the same, I don't know, but don't keep doing the same thing over and over and over thinking you're wrong. Um, change what you're doing. I'm saying that because I need to remind myself of that a lot that uh, I can't conform and do art the way everyone else is doing art or mixing my paints the way everyone else is mixing their paints or I don't want to do that and I can't do that because it doesn't work. So you have to just keep doing what you're doing and when you get frustrated, change what you're doing. Add more Floetrol, take out Floetrol, add more water, take out water, change colors, do things that mix up the consistency of your paints. Don't just keep saying, I'm gonna keep mixing it this way because that's the way they told me, that's their um, formula. Uh, so yeah, there's my speech on that. Maybe I needed that more than anybody else. But anyways, today I am going to do an Aussie swipe with a black base and, um, two golds that I mixed. One that's just a straight Soho gold and one that's Soho Gold mixed with a little 24 karat Magical Mica. And then swipe with black. So it's just going to be a monochromatic gold on black painting swipe on this uh, 12 by 24 gallery wrapped unprimed canvas. So like I said in my last video, I came in to a friend, gifted me very nicely, a bunch of canvas that uh, she had. And I screwed up one of my paintings on a gallery wrap canvas and thought, uh, I'm just gonna take it off and, and redo it with the canvas that she gave me and see what happens. And I feel like it turned out good enough to paint on. And I did a lot of research about painting on unprimed canvases and no one has ever tried it pouring that I could find. Uh, so that to me just begged to be done because nobody's tried it. Or I couldn't find anybody that tried it. I did a Google search, couldn't find anything. Search on YouTube, couldn't find anything. A lot of people have painted on unprimed canvases, but no one has ever tried pouring on an unprimed canvas. So to me, again, drawing from my printing background, there's a difference between coated paper and uncoated paper. And this is like uncoated paper. It's an uncoated canvas. Um, and we're putting so much paint on these that, yeah, I can see how if you're painting, it gets lost in the canvas and, um, you can't see the colors or maybe, um, it's not as vibrant or whatever, but we are putting so much paint on these canvases. So... Why not try? So I have this 12 by 24 gallery wrap 
canvas that I've already get out already wrapped with um, the unprimed canvas. And then I also have this like 12 by 12 um, level one test canvas, I guess, if you will, um, that I'm also going to do the exact same paint, the exact same swipe technique, the exact same everything. And then at the end, we can compare how do the colors turn out? Are they as vibrant? Are they muted? Are they dull? Do they crack? Do they, um, anything like that? Because now I'm curious, uh, if the uncoated, cause in printing, uncoated paper gives you a much different look, a much, in my opinion, a much more sophisticated look. Higher end pieces are usually done on uncoated stocks. Uh, one of the women I met in the industry that sells uncoated paper calls the coated stuff, coated crap, not canvas, paper. So I'm curious, is this gonna change the effect and change the look and change the end product? Because um, I kind of think it will. So I will bring you down to the canvas. I'm gonna do this pour and swipe and, um, and then I'll bring you in at the end and we'll take a look and then I'll bring you in when it's dry. All right guys, let's get to it. Every night you sing the blues Always wishing that it was you to hold the crown The one they talk about Pacing around in your room All your reasons stuck like a loop beneath your shoes So I went back 
and looked at the video, that's the one that's just straight gold. That's um, just Soho gold. And then this one is Soho gold with a little 24 karat magical mica in it. I don't know why they behave so differently on this canvas, but um, I guess we'll see how it dries. We'll know when it dries which one is the 24 karat magical mica. You guys have such a mess. Um, here is this one. Um, there's huge cells down here. The center one was the magical mica, the one with the Soho golden magical mica. And then this one, these two on the ends are all just straight gold. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this dries since it's an uncoated canvas. So I'll bring you guys back when it's dry. Hey guys, um, I am super happy with the way this turned out. Um, what could have been, I mean, I didn't even know what to expect painting on an unprimed canvas, but it is very uh, unique. I guess is the best way to say it. Um, it's a matte finish, but then the, um, like you can see that the sheen is like, it's just so cool. Um, and the gold against the matte is like unbelievable. Um, the cells turned out, I can't get it to stay up. The cells turned out great and there's great lacing. Um, that was the one with the magical mica in it. And strangely, I can't tell a difference between that one and these two that just have the Soho, um, old gold in them. So... You guys, I'm gonna continue testing on unprimed canvas because me, in my opinion, I think this does look more sophisticated and more um, unique than let's throw this in, right? So look how like, just look at the back, black background. Don't even take into account the cells. Like it almost looks, looks like on this one, on the coated canvas, that I just like painted on a piece of plastic. I mean, look at the, texture in this and you could feel the texture too um whereas this is like it, you guys it's night and day and I literally would compare it uncoated paper to coated paper it's so different and I love it I literally, literally love it. And I don't know that it's gonna translate into every application. I don't know, obviously, if you want vibrant colors and um, I don't think this is gonna work as well, but on these, on these colors where you want a dramatic statement, I think, I think this is brilliant in my opinion. I, I think this, I don't know why more people aren't doing it. Um, 
it just adds another layer of depth to this. Um, that you don't get with coated canvases. So there you have it, you guys. Uh, 12 by 24 unprimed canvas. Thanks for watching. Click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.